Don't play twice. Hello, friends, patriots, renegades, anons, everyone who loves our show so much. We appreciate all of you and uh, real excited to have you on board today. That video that I just played from the Bee Gees uh, called You Win Again is the name of the song. Uh, I was looking at, this song has been rattling in my head for, for months now. It's like, I just love the feeling of you win, you win. You just got to keep reminding ourselves of that. That song had, guess how many views on YouTube? That was the official video for that song. Had 960 some odd million views, almost a billion views. So I thought, well, it's a popular song. Might as well play it. Uh, it's one I really enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. We try to pick songs that will uh, enlighten and motivate us uh, before we get into the topics of the day. Uh, interesting thing. Um, this morning on Facebook, or actually last night, I said, you know, be prepared this week for the unexpected. And everyone's like, yeah, 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 that's true. That's really true. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that energy, right? We're feeling the energy of that, that things are a little bit crazy. And at some point, they're going to get a little bit unexpected. And we've been telling you, Lewis and I have been very clear on that. We've been telling you for a long time that, uh, you know, even us who are kind of on top of things uh, will be surprised by some of the things that happen. It just reminds us, you know, to be prepared for the unexpected because that is kind of where we are right now sort of unexpected. Uh, a lot of things happening behind the scenes. Uh, we may be paying attention and getting a clue here and a clue there that something else is going on. And uh, we'll have a lot more of that kind of discussion with our special guest tomorrow, S.G. Anon. I know all of you are, can't wait to hear from him. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's going to bring the heat, I'm sure. All right. The world is on fire. Uh, and I don't want to do this show alone. I, uh, you just, I don't want to. I'm going to find uh, someone that can do the show with me. Hello. Let me see. Let me knock on it. Hello. Hello. Can you join me? Oh, there he is. Hey, hey there hello. We are. How are you, buddy? <laughs> Oi. Oi. Is that I, what you got to say? Oi. Is that how you start the day? Yeah. I've been, I've been going with my hair, hair on fire. And now this is actually a time for me to take a break. I appreciate oh. it. It's great. It's awesome. Welcome in, my friend. Good to see you. You're looking uh, spry and happy. That's always exciting to see. And uh, we know we're just days away from the beginning of something special. What could be so special that starts on September 3rd? Let's see. I don't know. I've okay. heard nothing about that date. I heard, let me see. September 3rd is the date that supposedly the amnesty ends for the cabal. Um, September 3rd is the date of Trump's book release, which is Save America. September 3rd, there's a really cool song that's going to be released called To Unite. What, what, what else? Could, oh, the Unity Tour. That's right. The Unity Tour. That's what we've been working on so hard. So the Unity Tour keeps off September 3rd. Wow. So um, if anybody's familiar with these tours and how they how they work, uh, thank you, Lord, for bringing these people to us. It's amazing. So we have a team 10 strong, might be adding a couple more on this week um, to bring the unity tour for you all for how much? How much, Robert, are we charging for each location? Oh, it's going to be real expensive. It's going to break the bank at zero dollars and zero cents. Leave yeah. your credit card at home unless you want lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope people appreciate that, you know, that we're, we're doing it for free. So we're going to 50 locations. We have to rent these locations, right? We have to pay for the gas, the RV, the room, the, everything you could possibly imagine. We have a wonderful staff that's helping us with a good portion of that. Um, obviously, we'll still need some donations if, to help out if you can. If not, you know, openly, uh, we're going to do it regardless, but... If you want to learn more about the Unity Tour, go to unitytour.us. Um, I'll be on several interviews. I'm sure Robert and Bruce will also. Um, I think I've got, I believe I'm including the show and the interviews today. I think I have about 15 or 16 just this week. So, wow. yeah, it's a lot, but uh, it's going to be worth it. You know, I told, I said after the last tour tour, I'd never do this again. And for some reason, God has dragged me by the uh, short and curlies into this one. <laughs> so here, here I am doing the unity tour, but uh, that's all right. That's all right. 
it is what it is and uh it's going to make a huge huge difference when people really go to unitytour.us and see what we are doing and what we are teaching and the fun we're going to bring in uh don't ask us about the uh the speakers because there's going to be hundreds of speakers committing we just don't know who's going to be at what event so it's going to be hard for us to 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 do that and we don't want to overcommit but uh I'm sure when you end up going to one, which you should, because there's going to should be one in your area. We're doing 50 cities. Uh, just know there will be some awesome people there, and it'll be a surprise. Very like, like we're talking people with up to millions of followers. And you're doing selfies. Well, if we have time, it's it's. I don't know. I don't know why, but people want to take a picture with me. I think I'm just. I'm sorry for breaking your camera every time they do that, uh, but absolutely, <laughs> hugs and selfies are out there also for free. We just want to okay. spend time. Want to spend time with we the people because we can't get this done without the peeps. There is a, uh, a trend that we're seeing across the nation now, and uh, you know we can we're going to talk about it a little bit today. That more and more people are are coming onto it. It feels like you know it's like a boat, and if if it's balanced, you got enough people on one side, the other side the boat's kind of balanced. But if they all go to one side, it starts to tip. Well, the boat is starting to tip in our our direction. More and more people are coming across to our side, and mm -hmm. we're seeing that more and more. And the Unity Tour is just one more aspect of that that'll kind of bring it to fruition. Uh, for those of you who are thinking, well, you know, I'm kind of lonely out here. I can't talk to anyone. And but guys, I get it. I see your posts all the time. Nobody around me understands this. Nobody, I get it, right? I get it. It's not a reason not to continue. But if you go to the Unity Tour, you're going to make new friends and maybe start some new circles. And maybe your old friends will go, hey, what are you doing these days? You seem awfully happy. You seem awfully positive. The world seems to be on fire. But you seem very positive about it. The world is on fire. It's literally on fire. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, we better talk too loud. We might wake him. <laughs> Who is that guy? <laughs> oh, oh, Naomi Wolf went to hold a diatribe on it this weekend. I communicated with her a little bit about it. And she says, look how tall he is. That's not the same guy. <laughs> he yeah. said, you're probably right about that. <laughs> yeah. The head doesn't even look the same. No. Uh, the world is on fire, and this is what we got, folks. This is what is, uh, you know, our supposed commander in chief. Oh wait, that's right. He's still president. Still president. I. It completely slipped my mind because you haven't seen him at all. So, I think it slipped his too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything. So this is still the supposed leader of the country. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder where the real Joe Biden is. I. I suspect he has worms crawling out of his nose, ears, and mouth. Well, if you believe what Fulford says, uh, they had him un unalived, as we say now. I think the politically correct say, uh, saying yeah. is <laughs> that. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Amazing. Kind of crazy to see, uh, you know, that and, and see the world in, in the state that it's in. It's kind of kind of nutty. And, uh, you know, we look at... We look at um, at the, you know, that we said there's going to be a lot of transition. People are switching, switching sides. This guy went into, I think, a Walmart and then a uh, Home Depot, and he was asking people, "Who are you for?" Listen to this. For President Trump. Oh, I think the video just looped on us. I got to remember yeah. to turn that off. But I yeah. was going to uh, finish my uh, conspiracy with that with that video, so I'm glad you played it anyways because it's it, there's this mythology out there that Kabbalah's getting a lot of traction and. It's, it's Kamala's world and yada, yada, yada. It's a big, it's, I call it, it's the big Kamala psyop, right? And yep. uh, I'm going to go into that today with the tinfoil hat moment. But it's very, it's, uh, it's telling because every people poll I see, independent people poll, she's getting destroyed. Every yep. single one. Word on the street, getting destroyed. Even, even at some colleges, they're shocked. They're like, wait a second. Not everybody here is for Kamala, right? So, so it's uh, clearly the news media, Fox News, is lying to everybody. So the question I have for you, Robert, are they lying because they're still controlled opposition? Or are they lying? Yes, they lie. The gray hats lie. Are they lying because they want to keep 
the conservatives thinking it's close, so they make sure they get out and vote for Trump. What do you think? I think there's enough zeros on the check uh, to make it worthwhile. And we're hearing a lot of stories of influencers being contacted uh, by the Harris campaign and giving them as much as $1,500 for a 30-second video. I mean, it's like, whoa, that's crazy. And then we hear uh, that they're, they're being paid $150 to show up to the rally and hold the signs. And then you go, okay, so this whole thing is is faux, right? And you got the media enrolled, as usual. And, and Fox News, I don't put them in a different category. I know some people still think they're conservative. I haven't thought that. I actually stopped watching them in 2020 when they called Arizona. And I, I called up my brother and I said, I'm done with Fox. I've never turned it on again. Have not been back to their website, except a couple of stories here and there that maybe I've seen. But I don't go, you know, I used to watch Brett Baer and all those people kind of on a regular basis online. Um, and, you know. No, no more. And I think a lot of people are kind of waking up to it. So I think it's a good thing, uh, Lewis. I think it's a really good thing that they're doing that because I'm seeing a lot of people saying F Fox News now. And I, I saw at least three of those just this morning. Yeah, I see. It's, it's interesting. It's a total backfire. So whatever, whatever the purpose is, is if, if this is part of the, the gray hat game in order to take take Fox News down so they make them do stuff like that? Who knows? I don't really know. I don't care at this point. All I know is, is, is we win when the people step up and do something about it. And uh, yep. I feel like we're getting close. That's what's exciting me. That's you. I'm starting to see momentum from the people that are actually saying, okay, what can I do? I want to make a difference. We need to take this back. So I'm very, very happy about that. Did you know that, uh, according to CBS News, Kamala is uh, rolling out a new policy uh, position saying she'll fight to end taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers? All positive. Love it, right? That's a great story. But um, when it was a few weeks ago, when Trump was rolling that out, they had a different, different uh, thing. What happened? Wait, not showing up. It's up there, yeah. Looking good. Oh, okay, there it is. It's showing up now. So uh, CBS News says former uh, President Donald Trump's vow to stop taxing tips would cost the federal government $250 billion over 10 years. <laughs> it's the same policy. <laughs> ah, deep yeah. breath, everybody. Deep breath. This is the crap you have to deal with. But, you know, who, who runs the media? DARPA, you know. CIA. Yeah. You know what I yep. mean? They're, they're, it's a deep state-run media. And the key key is state-run media, which can you believe we're saying that in our wonderful United States? It's a state-run media. Yep. That's just wacky. <sighs> so then they're going to put uh, this on Time magazine um, because she's accomplished so much of nothing that we have to inflate her. <laughs> like, are you I've serious, heard, guys? I've, I've heard she's done some inflating of her own. Uh, yeah, she's uh, inflated her. Oh, gosh. It's, Just ask Willie Brown. Yeah. Well, you know, if you look at the media, the media does one thing really well is they amplify any message, right? So they're there. And, and if you look, take one step back. Let's go back even one step from this and say, okay, why is the media controlled? They're controlled because they have power. If you have the audience, you have power. That's a, a known uh, entity in marketing, right? That's the, the, the moniker that you want to get the audience, get the audience. That's why you want to become a publisher. That's why you want a giant mailing list. Because once you have access to an audience, you've got power. And when you look at the networks where they have millions of people following and watching, that's tremendous power. So does it make sense that the government would have their hands in there? Of course it does. How else are they going to control the population? You know? So we have to start looking outside of it. And thank you, a lot of our viewers. We hear this again and again and again, that you guys have stopped watching mainstream media and only look at alternative media. And that is smart. That's a very smart thing to do. And just realize that in alternative media, sometimes there's garbage in there too. There's stories that are planted that are designed uh, to push us in the wrong direction, designed to confuse us, designed to have misinformation. And it looks real because it might be something we're thinking that we really want. So a little discernment is required. And, you know, we're getting an opportunity now to really exercise our discernment muscle, aren't we, Lewis? So true. Well, the yeah. uh, so-called alternative media has already been infiltrated highly because they, yeah. they, they track their numbers diligently and they knew their the mainstream media knew their numbers were falling like crazy. But really, it's the 
three-letter agencies that knew that their numbers were falling like crazy. So they started to infiltrate. And they infiltrate in the form of patriots often, which you're going to find out very soon. Here's the good news. They, they do their best, but our message still gets out there, thanks to X, thanks to Rumble, places like that. So the truth still gets out there. You just, as you pointed out to you, you just have to work on your discernment muscles right? And don't buy everything wholeheartedly and go to a trusted source that you know is actually going to try to vet things as much as they possibly can before they deliver them to you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I just want to let you guys know while we uh, go along in our journey here to go visit SBG, scoobygov.com, that's Lewis's website. There's a lot of updates happening now because obviously the Unity Tour is uh, pushing that and Lewis has got his hands on so many different things. You want to keep up with the man who's running and his hair on fire. Uh, sometimes hard to keep up with. And you will find the correct social media links there. If you look at, uh, you know, online, you'll find a lot of copycat accounts. Don't be uh, misled. Go to screwbiggov.com and you'll find the correct links to everything that Lewis is up to. And if you want to follow me, I am at renegademedia.tv. You could follow me on Telegram at renegademedia or email me. Robert at renegademedia.tv. And I know a lot of you do email, and I do appreciate your comments, your feedback, and uh, all those wonderful things you send my way. Oh, boy, I got so much to go through some days. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all right, there was an interesting um, image that I found earlier today, which I thought we should have a little chat over. If you look at the voter registration changes, this is just for July of 2024, and if you look at the Republicans, 252,000. And you look at the Democrats, minus 19,000. But Kamala's in the lead. In some states, she's leading Trump. <laughs> it is laughable. Numbers don't lie, it? right, Mr. Numbers Man? That's amazing. No, numbers, no, they don't lie. They never lie. We're, in fact, if oh, I believe that uh, our planet, our us people and everything around us are all mathematical equations anyway. So... Um, no, if you get the correct data, data doesn't lie. It's the people that distribute the data that lie. Or manipulate it. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's, that's, that's pre-distribution, yes. Yep. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, look at, look at California. Was it up 94,000? Or I can't read that number. It's too small. But yeah, California's way up. Minus 43,000 for the Democrats in California. Boy, that's a shift. And you say California is so blue, it'll never change. I don't know that it's so blue. So what that tells you is it's the Democrats moving out of state, not the conservatives. <laughs> Keep up the good work, guys. <laughs> yeah, literally. So, yeah, it's an interesting chart to look at. Uh, and you see that only in Colorado, Delaware, Iowa, and Rhode Island, Rhode Island is really deep blue, um, do you see any kind of drop uh, on the Republican side? But everything else is up. Everything else is in the positive. That's kind of fascinating to see. That's why Kamala's in the lead. You see, that's, that explains it right there. This is the proof you were looking for, people, to understand that Kamala is leading in every poll. Kamala, <laughs> she's the man. Wait, does that, did I do that right? Uh, she's the man. Well, uh, Fulford was putting that in his newsletter today that she was replaced by a man uh, playing her now. So I don't know. Who knows? I'm just a guy doing a news show with another guy doing a news show. Yeah, we don't I'm, al I'm almost to the who cares anymore point. <laughs> let's, just, <laughs> let's just get this shit done. That's all I care about at this moment. Right? Oh, brother. Everybody's, everybody's worn out. Anybody that's working pretty hard are really worn out, right? And just uh, you all deserve a vacation. Let's get this over with. And I think we're, I think we're a hug and a vacation. Exactly. That's what we yes. need. I think we're on our way to getting it done, so we'll see. So this is the fakers are in high gear now. This is something I found on X before. The polls in the media are saying, oh, my God, Kamala Harris is surging. She's about to flip Florida. <laughs> the reality, Republicans <laughs> surpassed Democrats in Florida voter registration by a measly one million. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's going to win Florida for sure. Oh, yeah. So the polls in the media are saying, whoa, Kamala Harris is about to take every single state and maybe even Texas. That's what the media is saying. In reality, 
In July, Trump gained 20,000 voter registrations in Arizona, while Kamala only gained 3,000. He gained 21,000 in Pennsylvania. She only gained five. And in North Carolina, he gained 6,000, and she lost 722. Yeah. She's got this. It's, it's over, everybody. Uh, with the reality, we have to see the reality. So what, what they're really doing. So let's get serious for a moment, folks. So I know we're having a good time here. Um, me and my unshaven self, look at that. Okay, I showed you, honey. I know she's like, ah, why'd you do it? Because I didn't have time. So uh, I haven't showered in three months, by the way, folks, either. Uh, hopefully that will become a video meme. So, <laughs> so what's going on is the deep state is, is priming the cheat is what they're doing. So the, in order to do that, they have to prime our consciousness first. Because yep. if they don't prime our consciousness and, and, and you get, you know, most people or more than 50% of the people going into the election thinking Kamala even has a chance, then they're done because it's easy to cheat and then people just go, oh, what, what the deep state is always most concerned with. They're not, most con they're not concerned at all. We're very apathetic, especially in the United States. Sorry, U.S. We're very apathetic here anyways. And many people just go, oh, man, that's just horrible. It's the end of us. It's all over, but I can't do anything about it, right? So this, they're priming the pump is what they're doing for the cheat. We need to be aware of that. Um, so we're going to be rolling out some things on the Unity Tour that's really going to help prevent the – Let's. it will prevent the psychology from permeating – the public and give people's tools to fight back and, and an awareness that I think will be pretty epic when we release that on the tour starting September 3rd. So uh, people just have to know when they're seeing this, it can be one of two things, but only two things in my opinion. It's either the good guys that are just making this look as funny as possible, right? And then she's going to get completely destroyed or it's the bad guys the deep state that is priming the pump so they can easy cheat within our minds. It doesn't change what they're going to do on paper and digitally. They're just working on this right now. So they're priming the pump right here. Yep. Why don't you do me a favor and check your microphone? And I'm going to tell people about the uh, Pet Club 24-7. I think your audio is just a little strange. So I think it may not be the correct microphone you've got going there. Uh, All right. Well, Lewis is doing that. I will tell you about uh, Pet Club 24-7. Uh, all of us love our pets and would love to have them around a little bit longer. We're hearing a lot of stories that, obviously, you know, we haven't been feeding our pets great food their whole lives, but uh, pets that are a little bit older are getting another 18 to 24 months of life beyond what they would have had uh, because they put them on the correct food. So Pet Club 24-7 is really, really focused on giving your pets not only good quality food, but also highly nutritious food. And we really love it. Uh, of course, my little thumper here at 15 years old is very spry. Uh, he loves his super sauce and uh, I give it to him every day and to make sure that he's doing much better. You know, we thought we were going to lose him about a year and a half ago and start to put him on this food and uh, it's done such a good job for him. So if you want your pet to live a little bit longer, uh, uh, I would encourage you, screwbiggov.com slash pets. Go have a look. Uh, we have food for cats, for dogs, and horses. And also, there's another tab there that says for humans. You may want to check that out, too. And do a little research and see what they're doing, because I think you're going to find some really cool uh, you know, results from uh, the stuff that they're selling. Really good stuff. Um, screwbiggov.com slash pets, and we'll bring Lewis back in. Hey. Uh, the mic right. was was great. If if I need to log off and log back in, I will. Let me know. Okay, it's not it's not great audio, but it's not terrible. It's sort of like a little weird. That's weird. Yeah, it is. And sometimes you know it's Mercury retrograde, so who knows? And I know we don't buy into that, but here we are. They're here saying, we are. They're saying I find. Hey guys, give me a five five if I sound good online. Maybe it's a transition between Robert and I here. I hear white noise, which I don't generally hear in the background today. Okay. <clears throat> See if that's a little bit better? Are you still hearing white noise? Nope. Right now it sounds better. Okay. Cool. Good. Yeah, they're hearing me good online, so we're good to go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's... 
that's all that matters. It's, it's the audience, uh, how they um, feel about it. That's what I really care about. So uh, something cool is happening today at uh, 5 o'clock our time, 8 o'clock uh, East Coast time. Uh, Donald Trump is going to be interviewed by Elon Musk on X. And right away, what happened? The EU came out and threatened Elon Musk that he must, he must censor Donald Trump. <laughs> they sent this letter out this morning to him and said, uh, we can't have that. We were already suing you for other violations, blah, blah, blah. And uh, you have to censor Donald Trump because he may say things that are going to inflame people. Really? Just amazing. I, yeah. I, am, I was so excited when I heard that they sent this letter to Elon Musk. This is, this is the level of stupidity that we need to wake people up, yeah. right? So, so when the European Union, um, which is, by the way, falling apart, many people don't even know that. They're literally disintegrating before our eyes. But when the European Union puts out an edict to the number one platform in the world news platform and saying you must censor potentially the next president of the United States. I can't even I can't even imagine imagine them having the gall to do that. This is that's got to be the one of the biggest wake up calls. Um, and I believe a lot of I'm glad you brought it up because so many people should be talking about this because it's about as blatant as it gets. But it goes right in line to what's happening in the UK right now where People posting on Facebook, uh, certain opinions and even forwarding messages are getting arrested. I'm like, what? and they're threatening to arrest uh, influencers here in the United States too. I'm just wonder what kind of jurisdiction they think they have here in the United States. Yeah, I, I, I can tell you, I don't even care if I if I were to go to the UK and they try to arrest me for doing something like that here, I I would beat the fuck out of them. I don't care. Their little bobby hats and their their whatever they try to try to come at me, I would just beat the living crap out of them. I don't care how long I'd spend in jail. I, I they're gonna have to pay. Somebody's gonna have to pay if you're gonna try to lock me up for freedom of speech, especially in somebody else's country. I'm sorry, I would go ballistic. Right now, my wife's canceling all our trips to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, what's happening there in the UK uh, is very telling, and it's, it's sort of the story, again, we're looking at that's happening in these other countries, how long before it starts happening here, where they, they literally activated uh, the illegals, got them riled up, now they're in the streets, apparently the machetes that they've got, the baseball bats that they've got, the weapons that they've got, uh, were given to them. They planted sea containers in those neighborhoods, and they went in emptied them, got all the weapons out. So this is planned, and the, and the cops are pushing back the natives, holding them back of from course. protecting themselves. So we're hearing stories like, uh, you know, they want Sharia law, so they're going after the Englishmen who are coming out of the pubs because drinking beer is against Sharia law. They're going after people coming out of restaurants who had bacon and beating them up. And it's just like, it's crazy. And then you have the UK government trying to suppress it all. They don't want it shared. We were seeing a lot of those videos, and now hardly any, because now everyone's got fear. They're not sharing the videos anymore, but apparently it's still going on from what we hear. Well, just another reason to go kosher so you don't get your ass kicked every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wacky world, guys. Wacky world. I mean, I'm sure they regret regretting that now because they have no way to protect themselves. And, you know, it's the bad guys who are armed. Wow. Gee, so, here's Robert, the story. How hard is it for you to pre present this news without laughing? Oh, it's hard. It is, right? Because it's it like, is, it's, yeah. it's, it's laughable. How, and, and the reason why I like to laugh at it and mock this stuff is because there's a certain en energy that's given when, when, you, when we give the cabal uh, not just fear, but when we give them credence on something, right? So there's a certain energy that's given. So when they roll these things out, I love to mock them and throw it back in their face. That's why we're doing 33 days on the tour, because we're going to take our numbers back. We're like, are you kidding me? You don't get that number. We got that number. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Bring it.
right? Come on, let's go. So we're gonna have we're gonna have to have as much fun with this, guys. I would say anybody watching and everybody that you know, just start mocking this stuff and having a good time with it. Don't get distressed whatsoever, because they have one of two goals. We have to remember one of the goals is to convince you that what they're doing is right. The other one is if they can't convince you, they want you to be afraid that it's going to happen, whatever they're trying to do, because that right. fear is the fuel that they feed upon. So the, the thinking now is what if they were to, you know, we're coming, you know, we're inside this boiler point now of, uh, what is it, 80, uh, let's see what the number, the actual number is, uh, we are now 84 days from the election, uh, we're into that, that span, uh, what if they were to activate the illegals here and, and arm them? Well, machetes probably aren't going to do it here in the United States. I'll have to give them something a little stronger. Are we going to sit back and take it? Or will we finally step up and say enough is enough? Will that be the line in the sand that we draw? So here's the way I want to position people. And I, I, this is a great topic, Robert. Thank you for this. So, again, this goes down to numbers. Okay? We have 362 million people in the United States. Let's say... Let's, we're not losing this. So this is why we win. The deep state has been unable to figure out that paradigm. So whether they're Masonic or not, our founding fathers, you damn well better thank them that they put those two amendments in place. Yeah, so it is the deterrent force, right, is what we've got. We've got a deterrent force here, and it's why they haven't pulled the wool uh, over us the way they have in other countries that we're seeing in Venezuela, that we saw in Brazil, uh, you know, that we're seeing a little bit in France now, in UK, and, and you can go around. There's other countries, Australia, Canada, uh, you know, we've seen that happen. They haven't pulled it here yet. And you're right. I think they can't figure out that nugget uh, is what is a problem. They've got a deterrent force. Uh, apparently, uh, Americans have more than a trillion rounds of ammunition. And I would posit that's, that's probably a low estimate because I know people who have a lot more rounds than, than they could ever shoot in a year. You know, it's like, hey, it's on yep. sale. I'm getting more. Closet's full, but I don't care. I'm getting more. You know? Yeah, I, I can tell you one thing. I wouldn't want to come against my sons myself based on what I know and they do and know and I'm a I'm a pretty scrappy dude and know some stuff that most people don't and two of my kids I'd be like there's there's I just can't do it couldn't do it nope yeah <sighs> yeah um it's, it's fascinating times we're living in here all right so uh I think we're ready to move into the sci-fi edition of the show today <laughs> are you ready my friend to do the sci-fi edition i'm ready to do the sci-fi edition let's do it do we have my my wonderful tinfoil hat intro yet or no uh, we do have it actually right here let's hit it tinfoil hat time Well, isn't that special? Yeah. All it right. Is special. So, so let me show you what we have over here. We are dealing with the Kamala sci-fi. Oh, yes, folks. It's true. It's true. Look at how beautiful and packed those crowds are. And she's she's just so amazingly successful. It's just it's just wonderful. And you know, the re reality is we have let's be real. Some of you have to be honest on here. Some people have been concerned about Kamala getting these huge crowds and the growing support. So I'd like to ask you a question. Do you really believe knee pad wearing, cackling hyena Kamala who got 1% approval when she was running against other horrible Democrats is really drawing that type of crowd? Ask, do you really believe that? Hmm. It's all Kamala fakery. Come on guys. There's a, she even had a, uh, Two mile, look at that, two mile long line just to go see Kamala Harris. Oh, wait, 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 that's right. This was in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Don't know why they pronounce it like that. It's Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Oh, but you know what? What she really did is she hijacked a Bon Iver concert. Bon Iver, by the way, 
what is number one on the billboards. That's right, number one. Guess where he happens to be from? Oh, he's from Eau Claire. Go figure. They so they hijacked that and they pretended like that was their event. Oh, by the way, it was free. So this guy that charges like $150 for his concerts now is charging nothing. And what happened? Suddenly it's a it's a Harris event. Oh my god. This is really, really wonderful, isn't it? So, anyways. Even a lot of reports that on this first one, they this they weren't ready for this, so they're handing out Harris signs, and barely anybody wanted a deal. They're like, uh, "We don't need a sign, thank you very much." What what's going on here? So it was actually quite funny. Um, so fun to watch. So next up, what's this? Oh, this is her other huge event, or as Trump would say, huge. It's a huge event. This just happened to be a Megan Thee concert. Oh, do you see a theme here, folks? That's right. So Kamala starts to speak, and what do people do? They leave. Uh, we're here for the twerk master, Megan Thee. Oh, guess what she did, though? If you look at the picture to the right with the little skimpy pink outfit, what did she do? Megan Thee days later because she got heat from her audience, like, how dare you let hijacker... Kamala knee pad wearing Harris take over, she started to re-explain herself and she goes, well, I'm popping, by the way, that's another word for twerking, I'm twerking for Harris. Why? Well, because clearly she didn't use that type of words. Next up, well, look at this. This is actually an Instagram post from Kamala Harris. Ah, I think we did lose Lewis. <clears throat> okay. Just trying to check here to see what was going on, and now I know. I did lose his connection. Yeah, he's got a lot more. He wants to share that. Uh, we'll wait for him to reconnect here, but there's a lot there. Uh, using AI. AI is interesting because if you look very closely, the faces are often repeated. Uh, sometimes they're uh, disfigured. Uh, you look, you blow these images up, and you look at the hands especially. You'll have more than five fingers, sometimes six, sometimes ten. Uh, AI is not quite there yet, right? It's, it, there's a little bit more for it to do uh, before it gets to be we're at a point where you can't see, you can't figure it out. So uh, when you're looking at it from that perspective, um, I think Lewis is texting here. Let's see. I bet you his computer just dropped out on him. Crash. Be back soon. Yep. His computer crashed. He's been having a little bit of challenge with that. And of course, we don't like to say it, but it's Mercury retrograde, so who knows? Um, yeah, with AI, it's kind of interesting. So uh, you're seeing, we got to learn to look at this stuff and, and be very, uh, you know, astute when you're looking at it. I tried to do uh, some of the backgrounds I use for the studios. I tried to do one uh, with AI and anything that's kind of a repeating pattern, it just gets garbled and messes it all up. So you have a truss work, it's supposed to have these X's, these metal X's on it, for instance, and it messes them all up. This just like, looks like it's been in a car crash. And you know, when it comes to faces, it's the same thing. It disfigures, it does a lot of things like that that are really not helpful. Um, so you look at it from that perspective and you, you could start to see how fake it is. Now, you might be asking, why are they doing this? Well, they're pre-programming you, right? That's exactly what Lewis said before. They're pre-programming us. Why? Because what you want to do, you can go, well, you know, she was popular. I saw all her rallies. I saw the big crowds. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. That's why we're debunking this now. So that when that becomes a thing, when it starts to become, okay, uh, you know, let's see the, uh, you know, the, they're, they're trying to push Kamala in or install her, we're going to go, yeah, not buying it. Not buying it. She had no crowds. They didn't do that with Biden. Remember when Biden was running? They didn't try to fake it. We saw that he was a fellow with eight people, 10 people, 12 people, mostly his staff, from what I understand, showing up at his quote unquote rallies. He never got out of the garage. 
And so you look at it from that perspective and say, why are they doing that? Why are they, why are they trying to, uh, you know, make Kamala look uh, so popular? Well, that's why. So that you won't question the election if the election happens. I think Mr. Herms is back on, on track here. Sorry we lost you there. Oh, no, it's on my side. I had a complete computer crash. Go figure. Ooh. Blue screen? No, no, no. Froze. Everything completely froze. Couldn't move anything. No control alt delete. Nothing. Ba 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 ba. Yada yada yada. <laughs> I hate those kind of crashes. Yes, yes, yes. No conspiracy theories, please, folks. We don't go down that road. No, we don't have to go there. We know better. <laughs> we know better. Absolutely. Boy, just so where I left off. You want to go back to uh, the shared screen, and I'll finish off here. <clears throat> we shall do that. And Here we go. Eric and Lisa can uh, edit it later. <laughs> okay. Eric's not going to sleep tonight. He's I got know. work. Poor guys. Let's see here. Bum, bum, bum. Boom, bada, bing. There we are. I believe I was on this screen right here. I believe you were. So this is Harris's Instagram account. Now, the red circles are not drawn by Harris because what they're doing is they're showing some redundance. Why does everybody wear the same watch? Huh, because it's AI created. Isn't that interesting? It goes on and on and on. So these things continue forever. But what else do we have here that may be interesting for you? Oh, the famous airplane hangar shot. Isn't that interesting? So what, what most people don't know is this is massive fakery. I believe this was at the Detroit Metro Airport. Um and even CN reported this as fakery. So what happened is somebody did, you know how to do this, Robert. They, they ran an AI check on this, and 92% of the audience is faked. Yep. 92%. Are you mm -hmm. kidding me? If you look to the right, this is a reflection right here, and it shows you that it's not showing any people in the reflection except one guy there that might be a fake secret service actor so it's not showing anything whatsoever which is very very interesting now that being said you'll have people out there that they're trying to do damage control right now and they're going to tell you oh well if you understand the perspective of this it would definitely not show them anyways horse crap everybody of course with all those fans there it's going to be showing them 100 percent so more fakery from that. And then let's go to this. Um, what? What's going on here? Who is that? Now, this is... This is a guy doing AI just to show you how easy it is. That's not the actual fakery. That's a guy just showing you how easy it is to do this. Now, that's on video, guys. Robert, you and I talk about this a lot. We should get scared a little bit about this. This is video that they're able to manipulate like this. It's absolutely crazy, in my opinion. So that that was uh, so they're claiming the AI. It's referring to the AI. It's it's not shared by their campaign. So what I mean by that is the pictures that Kamala Harris and the their campaign are showing. They're claiming that those aren't AI. But the ones you're seeing from President Trump are AI. Huh. <laughs> so President Trump says, no, I see fake people. Give you an idea. This guy's in the Harris audience. Does that look like a giraffe, maybe? Maybe it's a cross between a human and a giraffe. It's probably some of the genetic testing that they do in the dumbs, I would suspect. <laughs> it could, the deformations could be, of AI, yep. It just yeah. couldn't get any crazier than this. So ultimately, when it comes down to it, folks, don't get upset. Don't worry about it. It's all going to be fakery. Even in Arizona, uh, several several ads are out there hiring actors. Uh, they're, they're blocking off the upper decks right now of the Kamala Harris event and their AI CGI in a crowd where the black tarps were. They're even caught cold doing that, which is absolutely amazing because I have a guy during the actual Arizona event is filming while she's on stage showing all black tarps, 
all this stuff is empty behind the stage, so on and so forth. So they're they're actually physically putting those in on those, which is it's incredible. I mean, it goes on and on and on. She did an event also where they paid union workers and they bust them in to put them in the front rows of this deal. And then the union workers were bust out first and it took two and a half hours for the rest of the people to get out of there. Right. Because obviously they weren't, they weren't paid. So right. is, is she getting some, con she is, she's getting some, some traction, but where she's claiming to get 30, 40,000 people, she's probably getting maybe a thousand, 2000, 3000. And uh, they're already finding out in Arizona that many, many of them were paid which is interesting. I think it's fascinating, Robert, that they're also, um, the Kamala crew is posting Trump photos saying the Trump photos are AI. They're trying to deflect from it, but it's clearly not AI. Those were them Photoshopping, really bad Photoshopping. So that's not even real. So they can't even fake Trump fakery. It's, it's just, it's crazy. So it goes on and on and on and on. So guys, the only reason why we're telling you is just know, take a deep breath, point these things out to your to your friends that are still chewing on the teat of the Democratic Party BS and just say it's all fake. So don't get upset. Don't get triggered. I know a lot of conservatives that I've talked to in the last week, they're like, we're really worried she's getting so many people to her crowds. No, it's not happening. The question that I have is... Uh, there are better AIs out there. There are better ways to do this. There are better ways to, and the video you just showed, the fellow there did that on his laptop in 10 minutes and it was a masking job, not necessarily an AI. They took a, uh, an actual video of the crowd, they masked it out and they let the plane be in the, in the background. Right. And that's how he did that, just overlaid it. Uh, it took 10 minutes, he did it on his laptop, just to show you how easy it is to fake it. Now the question then becomes, the Kamala Harris campaign Stole all, they have no right to be using that money, but they're using it. Mm -hmm. They have pretty much unlimited funds, 250 million. Uh, on the low end, it's probably much higher than that. <clears throat> Why are they putting out such bad AI? Why don't they just hire the people from Hollywood that'll make it so good, you could never tell. I mean, that, even that image you showed with that crowd, if you look at the lighting on the crowd closest to you, it's studio lighting. And then you look as it goes further and further out and the plane is all washed out, it's different lighting. The contrast ratio is not the same. I mean, so the untrained eye could see it. Your question is, with their budget, how is it possible that they're putting out such crap? Correct. Because that is the gray hat operation in order to get them caught. I think, it has I think, to be. I has think to it's be. that simple. I think we're, we're way past. I, I don't know. We try to be as pragmatic on the show as possible. And we believe we, we owe it to the people to do that and not jump off the hopium cliff and not jump off the fear porn cliff. We believe we owe that to you. You guys, you, you mean everything to us and we have to do the right thing. But it gets to a point where you can't even, I think you're unpragmatic if you don't see all the fakery. I mean, okay, let's just look at it. They put up the two worst possible candidates in the history of the United States on the Democrat ticket. I, you, I don't think you, I think Adam Schiff would be better, better than uh, one of these guys. And he's just a total pinhead, right? So they put up the two potential worst candidates. I would not be surprised, hint, hint, if you find out that there's a pedophile, this Waltz guy. And I'm starting to look into some of this stuff. So I'm just saying there couldn't be two worse candidates. She's an right. absolute buffoon. And that's not because she's a woman, guys. I, I mean, there's at least two or three smart women in the world. Joking, don't come after me. Just playing. So there's, uh, well, like I've always said, actually, there's more smart women than men. <laughs> we, are, we are pretty dumb. But that being said, they could have, easily found better kids. They could have put it Joe Manchin if it was a real election. Joe may have had some type of chance against Trump, maybe. Right. Because you know, he would get the liberal and he would get he would get some of the crossover votes and, and so on and so forth. They could have um, 
probably convinced RFK Jr. to come on over. He would he would have done a, a a better you know. So it's just crazy. There's no way, and this is what gets. So when people say it it's all deep state, I'm sorry guys. It it comes to a point where our do you think the deep state wants to go down in flames? Is that really their goal here? I don't. I don't think so. And this is why this is, has to be the uh, good guys uh, puppeteering this at this point. I think it'll weed out the people who are so indoctrinated that they can't be saved too, because they're they're all going to be for Kamala, 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 and you just know they're deeply indoctrinated because mm-hmm. they can't see the fallacy of the whole thing. They can't see the clown show uh, that's right in front of them, and they can't discern. Uh, that this is not something that you want in this country. So maybe it'll help weed them out. Maybe yeah. those are the ones that will be left behind, you know? Now, there, there is a, an argument, and I, I'm not saying this is happening. There is an argument to say this is a deep state operation on both sides. And they're, 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 trying, they're intentionally exposing one side because then they're going to get all the patriots to follow President Trump. And then they're going to you know, pretty much lead the, the horse to poison water and then we're going to drink it, right? So there's an argument for that. I understand that. Here's why I disagree with that. Because President Trump is charismatic to his base. He's not charismatic to all, all the liberals that are out there. Right. And there have been conservative charismatic presidents and people in the past that could have done both. Right. They could have drawn more liberals over. So I believe if that was their goal, they would have had somebody that would not only be right for we the people, but they would have would have resonated from a, a, a charismatic standpoint more with the left. I'm not saying Trump isn't charismatic, so don't come at me. I everybody that loves and wants to lay down next to Trump on a pillow every night. I get it. But the reality is he's not that charismatic to the left. In fact, he's, he's like poison to them. Right. right. So if they were trying to lead us down in, in another direction and suddenly have all the Patriots corralled and give it to Trump and then Trump's just doesn't even make sense the way they do it because he's p- complete poison to the left. So I, I hope people can alleviate that fear because there's a lot, a lot of black pilling in the patriot community now. Hopefully that'll, that'll uh, be able to push that away a little bit for them. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, you want to take a moment to talk about our buddy Lance Shuttler? He's uh, really, really good at with what he does. He's just finding the best supplements. Uh, the, the raw materials actually is what he does. He sources the raw materials to create a supplement line. And in this photo, you see something called pine needle extract. Uh, if you're thinking spike protein, if you're out in public and you're getting exposed to the shedding that's happening, pine needle extract is probably something you want to have with you. We actually carry it now uh, every time we go out and, and take a few uh, droppers full just to be sure that uh, we can negate the uh, ill effects of the spike proteins that you're running into. Uh, He's got humic and fulvic acid there, which really helps with the immune system, helps with detoxification. And uh, there's a lot of great uh, supplements, including berberine. Berberine helps with blood sugar management. Uh, And and, uh, of course, there's more benefits than just that. Uh, It's also an antioxidant. So uh, I want you to take a look. Go to screwbiggov.com slash health, screwbiggov.com slash health. Have a look at what Lance has to offer. Really good supplements. Uh, We love Lance. He thinks he's uh, he's the bees all and uh, the end all be all for us in, in terms of supplements. He really does uh, bring quality to the table. I know that's the number one question people have. How can I trust the quality? You know what? Watch some of our interviews with Lance and your head will start to spin. He's a real stickler for that. Screwbiggov.com slash health. And we thank Lance for supporting our show. And we thank you for supporting Lance. Yeah, all right. I, I believe you said so. If people are shedding on you, this is the product to take. Is that what you pretty much said? That's, that's exactly what I said. That okay. is the so one. If they're shedding on you, this is what you want to get. Got it. <laughs> uh, what is going on in Minneapolis? Uh, people are moving into your front lawn now. What the heck is going on here, Lewis? This is crazy. So what happened is they they pushed every, they tried to push the homeless out of, out of the city, right? Probably they, my guess is they're probably going to have a Kamala Harris event there or something's, something's right. going to be happening, right? So they're pushing them out and the homeless said, 
okay, that's cool. We're just going to start camping out on the front lawns of residents. In fact, there some of them, they said some of them are pooping 30 times a day on one lawn, showing their genitals to passing cars, begging, using, using the hose in the front yard. I mean, you cannot believe it. And then here's what happens. So the people, the residents are like, okay, this has got to be illegal. Let me call the police. Crickets, crickets. Some have called 10 times with no response. And then finally, the police had to come up with a response. So they said, we're working on it. We'll task somebody to handle it. Oh, I'm sorry. By the way, who's, who's the governor of that state? Oh, Oh, maybe that's why it's in the news, huh? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Tampon Tim. Tampon Tim. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm wondering, too, because they're doing the same thing here in L.A., and you actually saw Newsom with the gloves on helping to clean up some of the encampments because they've gotten so overwhelming. And it's like, okay, so great. You're kicking them out of the public spaces. Where are they going to go? <laughs> we haven't seen the story here yet in L.A., and, uh, but we'll see it, right? <laughs> so you know this rhyme. Okay, so if anybody hasn't seen these videos, uh, uh, G Gavin Newsom 2.0 is 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 going around right, personally cleaning up homeless encampments. I don't see much security around him, ironically, right? Yeah. So he's picking up trash, putting them into the. So I liken it to this. So they say, Gavin. Uh, it's, it's California is horrible. You're really doing a horrible job in the homeless encampments. Uh, we need to take care of this problem. What can you do? Oh, well, let me go grab a bag. I'll be right back. Right? But, or I liken it to this. Imagine Kamala Harris, uh, 20 million people have come over the border. Uh, well, what can you do? Oh, okay. I'll go to the border and I'll ask them to go back. So I'll escort them. Hey, guys, here's a sandwich. Can you mind crossing back over to the other side? The oh, optics brother. of these freaks are crazy, and this yep. just has to be all central casting at this point. Yeah, I, you know, like I like you. I saw the video, too, and I'm like, that can't be him. There's no security around him. There's nothing. He's walking through a homeless encampment. Okay, it's, you know, there's a lot of drug abusers there. It can be very violent. Uh, it can be, you know, very dangerous to be in those kind of situations, and there's no security around them. I thought that was kind of weird. Yeah. And my other question is, okay, so where are they pushing these thousands and thousands of people? They got to be putting them somewhere. They're not showing up at the, uh, the ballpark anywhere. Uh, so where are they going? Good questions. So the, the, I'm hoping that they, I feel like there is a good guy in military intervention in the background for sure. And based on some conversation I'm having, it looks like it's it's in definitely in that direction. So I feel really positive about that. Um, I'm still saying, people, get get your ass going, get the word out, make a difference in your community. Don't sit on your ass because there's still people crossing the borders. But that being said, maybe just maybe they're starting to uh, house these people and take care of them if the good guys are involved. I don't know, but I mean, thank God you have. Newsome 2.0 there put, picking up trash with his, his bare hands, right? That's right. We don't have enough, we don't have enough uh, city employees to do it, so I'm glad he's yeah. stepping up. Maybe he's, trying to pick, yeah, maybe he's trying to pick up a date, too. So good, good, good on him. Uh, I'm going to play the Unity Tour video because I have a little special announcement to announce after the video. So this is just a Unity Tour video, kind of give you a preview of what's coming. And we want all of you too fast. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <clears throat> ah, Lewis is muted. One of the events we're missing on there, guys, it was Fresno. So there's Fresno is, is on there also right before Sacramento, I believe. Um, <clears throat> so that'll be, that'll be corrected soon. And before Robert makes his announcement real quick, folks, um, this is your opportunity. I, I would hope anybody watching this will start, start tagging all your favorite truthers and influencers. Are you going to be at the Unity Tour? Are you supporting the Unity Tour? What's up with the Unity Tour? Start asking them questions in the comments because if people can't find a way to support something that's absolutely free, there's not it's not a revenue draw for us. It's purely for we, the people, to get together and get the job done under the four pillars. There's a challenge there. So I would start constantly tagging all the time.
Are you going to Unity Tour? Are you supporting Unity Tour? Are you going to are you going to in, invite anybody on for an interview for the Unity Tour? What's going on? And then you'll soon find out who you're dealing with by, based on the response, based on if they block you. Think about these things. Very important that we start doing that. And we're going to go full force in that realm. We have a nice army here, and I think I we can count on everybody doing that. And it's interesting, too, is that uh, so many of us are, are, we know each other by our handle on, on Rumble. Then we show up and we have an name badge on. It's a different name. So maybe if you want to, put your Rumble handle on there, too, so people will uh, recognize you right away. And you guys can do that in the chat room right now. You could say, hey, I'm going to be at, and just say which uh, stop you're going to be at so other people will know. And then you know, you'll find people are going to be there, too, and you guys can hook up and connect because uh, that's what we really want you to do. That's the whole point of this is to uh, help people uh, you know, meet each other in person because it's great mm -hmm. in the chat room. You guys have a great chat in there. I really love watching it, um, but it's even better in person. All right. right. I, um, I, real quick, Robert, somebody's saying, who will go to the Unity Tour in Fresno? The Unity Tour will be in Fresno. We're not announcing on purpose any of the speakers, and we're going to have probably over a couple hundred speakers that will be at these tours. We're not announcing any of them because this is not a, an event about fame, not about seeing your favorite truther. If we're close to you, hopefully you would come out and support us, and you'll be surprised. You'll be like, oh, cool, guess who was there? That's going to be the way it's going to work. So we'll, we'll, we may generically say who's going to be at the tours, but not announce who is going to be at what stop. Correct. And we're going to stream uh, the, the tours, but you know what? You're better off in person. If you can get there in person, just go in person. It's just so much better, uh, you know, than watching. Because you're, you're seeing us. You, you can see us every day. We're in your house every single day. And clean up the laundry in the corner there. I mean, um, yeah. So we want to make sure that, uh, you know, you have an opportunity to meet other people. Because that's really how it goes. Uh, you know, United, we're strong. And, uh, you know, we've been uh, really separated and, and distanced uh, for so many years now, four years. It's almost like we forgot a little bit how to act in public, right, around other people. Uh, those those muscles need to be exercised a little bit. All right. Uh, special announcement is on Friday of this week. We're going to do a live show, and it's going to be a preview of the Unity Tour. You're going to get to meet the principals, the people who are behind it, and we've got some things coming up that we want to share with you. And, uh, you know, Lewis and I will be hosting, and then we'll bring on many guests, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun uh, to really hear from them. You'll hear uh, from the people who are really putting in a lot of effort behind the scenes that you may not know of, you may not know what they're up to. Uh, so you want to get you uh, sort of enrolled in the process. And then if you feel guided to help out in any way, if you're going to you're be at one of the events and you say, Lewis, I'm going to be at Fresno. Um, do you need a hand uh, with setting up tables or, or something like that? You know, we could always use the help. Always use the help. Definitely so we appreciate volunteers. it. Yes, please. We yeah. definitely need vol volunteers at each location. Um, and it would be amazing anybody that can volunteer. Sometimes it may just be crowd control or, or, or put a barrier over here or, or maybe have trash bags to help people pick up trash because we want to get known as the that ones that leave the place cleaner than we when we arrive. That's what we want to be known. It's going to be beautiful, guys. It's just absolutely beautiful. Go to unitytour.us uh, to, to find out how to get there, to get tickets, whatever. Uh, somebody is saying... Uh, too bad we weren't in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, but you know what? We are going to Des Moines, Iowa, Madison, Wisconsin, and Springville, Illinois, kind of all in the area. Uh, you know, we're traveling 11,000 miles, so um, I would say if somebody could travel maybe a couple hundred or less, that would be should, – should be fair. And, uh, yes, I will definitely be in, in Fresno with Bruce and somebody else that I'll announce shortly and, and a lot of other people. Outstanding. Looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of work on my end, too, because I'll be hosting many of the live streams, uh, as many as possible, and also trying to keep up with the news, uh, which is, seems to be a full-time job sometimes. There's just so much going on in the weekend. And if people are asking, hey, why aren't you talking about Iran and Israel? It's because all of a sudden the news feeds dried up last night. It was kind of interesting. Interesting. You, you know, there started to be feeds of, oh, there's happening, and all of a sudden... Radio silence, nothing. So I don't know if nothing's happening, 
or if something's happening, when we have more information, we'll share it. Uh, certainly, we don't want to share partial information as much as possible. And, you know, we have to realize, too, we are in a war. Uh, situation and people go, well, some of the information you share isn't 100% accurate. It's because we're not getting accurate information. There's psyops on both sides. There's partial information coming out here and there. There's information that's planted by the other side specifically to throw us off the track, right? So we're doing the best we can. We all do. And I think all of us in this, in this world are, are looking at it and saying, okay, let's find that center point. Let's find the balance in all of this uh, because it's coming at us at 100 miles an hour. You can't possibly process it all. And that's what I'm finding is it's like, boy, there is no escape from it. It's a seven-day-a-week thing. It's like you can't walk away from it on the weekend because things are happening all the time. So uh, I keep people up to date on Renegade Media, on Telegram. If you're not on Telegram, uh, get a Telegram account. It's free to do so. Uh, there, there's not much in the way of tracking from what we can tell, so it is a safe one. Uh, unlike WhatsApp and, and uh, Instagram and Facebook, which they track everything. So you know, get on Telegram. Come visit us, uh, Renegade Media, and ScrewBigGov also. But you find Lewis's link on ScrewBigGov.com, and then go find uh, his very vibrant chat there on Telegram. There's a lot of activity always happening. Anything you want to add, Lewis, before we wrap up for today? Time to go back to work. This was Time fun. Time to go back to work. Okay, well, I, I can get jiggy with that. <laughs> and we're going to watch the uh, President Trump interview with Elon Musk, and we'll be able to report on that. We'll give you our, our take on it. Um, you know, these things, sometimes we expect they'll be big things breaking, but usually that's not the case. Uh, there's a few sound bites that would be worth talking about, so we'll do that. We'll capture those for you and bring those to you uh, on the Wednesday show. Tomorrow, SG and on. Don't miss that one. It's going to be a lot of fun. Just Lewis, remember what Robert just said. He can get jiggy with it. I can get jiggy with it. You got it. I can <laughs> I, speak like Kamala, too, you know. <laughs> I, <laughs> you're not going to twerk for us, are you? No, okay. but I'm unburdened by what was. I got to tell you, you're unburdened by what was exactly. Right. I think every time I say that, Phoebe's going to slap me. She's like, "Stop it!" Oh, then she'll be slapping me hard when she sees what we're coming up with. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you, Lewis. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, we love you much, and uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow with SG and on. Thanks for watching.